Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Dreamsgiving video. I have another journal with me for you today. I'm using this sweater weather kit from Two Lil V's. My washi tape this week is again from Simply Gilded. And the pens I'm using are the Pilot Juice in 0.4 millimeters and the Symbolion Marking Pen from Taiwan. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put down the washi tape, then the glitter headers, the date covers, and then I'm going to fill out the sidebar. While I do that, I have some questions for you, from you all, excuse me, from Instagram that I'm going to continue to answer. So the first one is, what's your skincare routine for winter or cold weather? Now that the weather is cooling down, finally, my skin has gotten really, really dry and irritated to extent. To an extent, I'm getting a lot more redness and dry patches. So I typically like to bring out a stronger moisturizer for the nighttime. So right now I'm using, I'm about to try the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Night Concentrate. It's right in front of me. I just took it out. So I'm going to try that out. It's the first time I'm using it, but apparently it's supposed to be really good. And I also like to do way more face masks. So that's pretty much it for my winter skincare routine. The next question is, how's your job search going? It's going. I've been applying here and there and seeing who gets back to me. So hopefully we'll see some progress soon. Another question I got is, how well do you and your sister get along? Do you ever get into any fights? We get along pretty well. We don't really, we bicker, but we don't really get into any huge fights ever. So yeah, and if we ever do, we pretty much make up like really quickly. So not really. We have a pretty good relationship, I would say. The last question I'm going to answer for this video is what would you want to go back for more of from your Asia trip? Definitely the food and the shopping, which is probably the typical answer that I would give, but the food in Asia is outstanding. We tried some really delicious restaurants in Tokyo and Hong Kong. There were also really yummy snacks and drinks, which you can't get here in the States, so I really miss that. Also the shopping, there are such cute things in Japan, like they sell Gudetama stuff in Daiso, which they do not do here, and I love Gudetama, so I definitely want to go back for that. Also the skincare and beauty brands that they have are different from the ones here, and I love Asian beauty brands, so I miss going around and shopping for things that aren't here in the States as well. All right, for the sidebar, I'm changing it up. Thank you to all of you who left recommendations. I'm going to do like a currently list of things that I'm currently loving, drinking, eating, watching, etc. And I also put down a highlights box at the bottom there, which you can't see at the moment. But when I move the planner back down, you'll be able to see. Again, it's nighttime when I'm filming this voiceover, so I apologize for the quieter voice. On Monday, I had really bad anxiety, and this week in general has been terrible because the job process, job hunting process, really puts so much pressure on me. I think I'm just putting that pressure on myself, but I also get pressure from my family and stuff, so it has been really stressful for me, and Monday was particularly bad, but I wanted to like work through it and make it productive nevertheless, so... I put down a Not Today Anxiety sticker from Banana Doodle Shop, and then I put down a pumpkin deco next to it because I thought it was pretty. Then I put down a Coffee Monday sticker that's rose gold foiled from the Sticky Committee, of course, and my Coffee Lola from Banana Doodle Shop. I basically worked on orders for most of the day, so I put down a full box and used a work sticker from Planning World that is also rose gold foiled. At the bottom, I put down a My Vote Matters, which was a free digital from Fox and Pip because Tuesday was election day, so I wanted to inform myself on everything that was going on so I could vote the next day or like fill out my ballot in advance and drop it off the next day. So on Tuesday, I put down a strip of washi for the morning and then I used a cute French press sticker from Happy Daya to mark my coffee. I finally found my French press 
and I'm so excited to use it again. The coffee is so delicious. Then I worked on orders again and dropped them off at the post office. That post office sticker is also from Planning World. I then went to drop off my ballot, and again, that digital is from Fox and Pip. I made it into a sticker. I also used a heart arrow. Afterwards, I went out for a run, more like a run walk, because I'm really out of shape. I haven't worked out in a while. But I used a Chrissy and Designs trainer sticker to mark that. At the end of the evening, I worked on my Dreamsgiving video for that day, and I made myself a drink while I was working on it. So I used this flag and a YouTube button from Happy Daya. I wrote it down at first, but it was really crowded, so I whited it out and pulled in this marble label from Sadie Stickers. The drink sticker is from Piper Paper Company. Moving on to Wednesday, I put down a full box for the morning, then a strip of washi from Simply Gilded there. Basically continued, continued excuse me, working on orders that day, so I didn't really have much to mark. I didn't do much that day besides that. In the evening, I did catch up on planning. Oh, to mark work, I'm using that same set of stickers from Planning World, and I used a flag to kind of just section out that chunk of time. I also pulled in this cute deco that came with the kit. And to mark catching up on planning, I used a munchkin half box kind of cutout overlay, not overlay, just like cutout half box from Once More With Love. And to decorate that space there, I put I pulled in a bow from The Giving Girl. And in the evening, I put down one of the decorated washi strips to fill up that space. On to Thursday, the first thing that I put down was my Dreamsgiving video that went up that day. So again, using the same stickers I used on Tuesday. Dreamsgiving is basically a series that I'm doing where I'm posting every other day in November. So I hope you're enjoying that. Then I move back over to the top of the day and start off marking coffee as usual. It's my favorite thing to mark every day, although I haven't been marking it as much lately. But yeah, absolutely love using coffee stickers. They're my favorite. I then pulled in some washi to fill up that space there in the half box is to mark filming because I did record the Dreamsgiving video that day. The camera came with the kit and the film sticker is from Magic Prince Co. Then my sister and I went out. She convinced me to get my flu shot on the ride to Starbucks because I was going for the white chocolate mocha, the toasted white chocolate mocha, because I was really craving it. And she was like, if you get your flu shot, I'll buy your Starbucks. So how could I say no to that offer? So I ended up getting my flu shot and I used an icon from my newest addiction to mark that. The Starbucks Red Cup is actually from Thumbprints Co. from a couple years back. And unfortunately, she's no longer open, which is so sad. But yeah, I wanted to use those stickers up. Then I came home and cleaned a bunch. So I used a cleaning foiled sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. In the evening, I just worked on my Dreamsgiving video and painted my nails, and I know that went by really fast, so when that my planner goes back down, I'll explain where I got the stickers from and everything. On Friday morning, I worked on orders, and I decided to use one of the clipboard full boxes that came with the kit. I put a bow in the center there because I thought that would be really cute. That's from Nikki Plus 3. Then my sister and I went to pick up my brother from school, so I used a car icon over a flag. We then got dinner at one of my favorite restaurants, and I put down a wine sticker from... Where is that sticker from? I'm having a brain fart. That is from Little Paper Prints because I had a sangria. The restaurant was in a mall, so we also did some shopping to wait for traffic to die down before we headed home. And I used a shopping sticker from My Newest Addiction. The bag is deco that came with a kit. On our way home, we stopped for boba, and I used a boba sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that the boba lettering sticker is from Malika's Planner for my shop. Then on Saturday, I had a really chill morning. I had a coffee and did a face mask. So I put down this girl from Fox and Pip to mark that. She's so cute, I love her. Her hair's like up in a bun and she's in a robe carrying her coffee. Then I put down some washi. And then for the afternoon, I put down this label and the work sticker that came with the kit because I did work on some orders. Then I went upstairs and crawled into bed because it was like really cold in the house. 
I ended up falling asleep, so I put down a nap pillow sticker from My Newest Addiction. I was also watching Elementary that day on Hulu, and that's probably why I had bad nightmares during my nap. But anyway, I put down this bow checklist from Simply Watercolor Co. because when I woke up, I worked on my Dreamsgiving video for that day, and I'm using the same stickers to mark that as well. To fill up that space there, I'm using some 5mm washi from Simply Gilded. Now if I could direct your eyes back over to Thursday, there is a nail polish sticker there and that's from Fox and Pip. You can't really see it right now anymore, but you will be able to in a second. And the laptop is deco that came with the kit. Then onto Sunday, I used a dim sum flat lay from Toffee Bananas because we went out to the city that day, my parents and I, the city meaning San Francisco, and we got dim sum, which was really yummy. So I used a heart arrow and in that space there, I'm gonna write that I had dim sum with my parents. Then I went to the Renegade Craft Fair with Malika from Malika's Planner. That is one of my favorite things to go to every year. You might remember that I went to one earlier in the year and they host craft fairs all over the states and even internationally and basically a lot of small business vendors go there and showcase their product and you can buy it and it's so much fun. I always spend so much money there but I've discovered some of my favorite favorite shops from there so I highly recommend going if there's one around you. I thought of it as a treat myself kind of moment so I put down a treat yourself sticker from Simply Watercolor Co. next to a heart from Clever Gal Crafts. In the evening, we had Family Time Hot Pot, which was really fun and delicious. And I used a Family Time sticker from Little Miss Papery. No, that's from Moonlight Paper Co., sorry. With a Hot Pot sticker from Happy Daya to mark that. All right, now I'm moving back over to the sidebar to fill it out. Currently loving drinking Oatly chocolate milk. I love Oatly, except for they're never in stock, especially their regular milk, which I like to put in my coffee but the chocolate milk is really good too, and I've been drinking that a lot. I've also been eating Twix and Crunch Bars from my leftover Halloween candy stash. I've been watching Elementary. I really enjoy that show, and I've been loving the cooler weather. I'm so excited that I can finally wear sweaters. Now I'm filling out my highlights. The mini highlight of my day sticker is from C. Amy Draw, and once I finish filling that out, I'm going to zoom out and show you the finished spread. I know this went by really fast. I'm gonna try to slow it down. It's just when I memory keep spreads, they tend to go by a lot faster because I already know everything that's going on. All right, here are the stickers I have left. I'm actually going to keep these and the leftover stickers from my last journal with me and combine them to do a leftover spread for next week. So stay tuned for that. Here is the finished spread. I hope you enjoyed this journal with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.